I met my friend uh, Glenn Crockett after I'd been to the dentist. That would be uh, six o'clock for, uh, what, 20 minutes or so? And then after that, I went to the Grand Hall. That's a hotel in Mushcha for my supper. rolls but I only ate the filling I hate cabbage gives me the old Oh, yeah, he's in the sauna. Through these doors to the end of the hall. Serge? Oh, hi, Ed. Well, I, uh, I gotta tell you, we're no further along. The media's been on my ass already. Oh, forget about the media. What about all these stories going around about Joanne Wilson? The whole city's talking. Yeah, well, I've been hearing rumors myself. Oh, uh, Thatcher had been asking around for a hitman. In the cabinet, even. Of course, nobody's talking about it, especially not in the legislature. You're still focusing on Thatcher. Well, he's the only one who fits. His visa receipt was found right there, right by the body. Well, could have been a plant. Well, it's possible, but not likely. I mean, whoever plants something usually puts it someplace where they're sure it's going to be found. This was just blowing around in the snow. It's a miracle we spotted it. What about this Gary Anderson? Uh, he's got a perfect alibi. It's too perfect. It's the kind of alibi you'd want if you knew you were going to need one. Oh, listen to this. Thatcher owed Joanne Wilson a pile of money. The credit union was starting to foreclose on him. A lot of people have debts. Sir, have you seen the photographs of Joanne Wilson's corpse? Whoever did that to her hated her with a passion. With a passion. Whoever hated her that much pulled the trigger. I'm looking for Blaine Matheson. Blaine Matheson? Mm -hmm. He's right over there, in the green cap. Thanks. Blaine Matheson? Yeah, Regina Police. Uh, he used to be the boyfriend of uh, Sandra Hammond, right? Thatcher family babysitter? Yeah. Hey, you mind uh, stepping outside? I'd like to ask a few questions. Yeah, okay. Thanks. So you stopped seeing her about a year ago? Yeah. So basically you've had no dealings with the family since then? No. How about before, when Joanne Wilson was shot in the shoulder? Yeah, about uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah, there was this one thing. Uh, Sandra told me not to go into the garage, so I, I did. And there was this orange Mustang with a high-powered rifle in it. A and a rental agreement. Did you read it? Yeah. You remember the name? Yeah, Anderson. Uh, Gary Anderson. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, go finish your breakfast. All right. We may need a statement from you later. Sure. <laughs> We should just take him in. We can't take him in. If we take him in, he's going to clam up. We're going to get we nothing. we've got to play this by the book. By the book. The guy can't even read. Look, I just, I just want to talk to the guy. That's all. I know this kind of character. If he takes off, he's, he's not going to have take us. Take off. Look, just go have a coffee or something. Here, I'll, uh, I'll even spring for the donuts. That's a ten. All right, what do you want, sticky? Yeah, with that white stuff on it. And coffee? Yeah, and stop worrying. You worry too much.
Hey, Gar. Well, you're a hunter, eh? Yeah, I hunt too. Oh, deer? Oh, yeah, I really like deer. Never uh, go for any moose? Oh, yeah, moose. Yeah. You? Oh, yeah, once in a while. I'm up at uh, Wapawika Lake there, near Mamo. Gun to use. Gun? What are you doing? I don't use a gun gear. I use my car. Hey! What the hell are you crazy or what? so-called rumors are coming from you. Know, the Regina police, sir, a bunch of incompetence. They've got nothing. They've got no evidence. No sir. clues, no suspects. I mean, they are the laughing stock of the country. I mean, if they want to charge me with something, they can go ahead. I'm innocent. I got nothing to hide. No, if you'll excuse me, we're on our way to the sun. How are your children feeling about all this calling? You'll have to ask them. Seen this? Thatcher. The man's completely relaxed. He thinks he got away with it. Good. We want him relaxed. Keeps him off guard. Sir, so what more do you want? We got information from his ex girlfriend about Thatcher buying a gun. We got bullets, the same kind as killed Joanne. Everything Anderson told us about what he burned in the barrel. The lab boys have examined the ash, and there's just about proof that the glass in there came from Thatcher's eyeglasses. There's just about proof that the button came from that jacket. The fingerprints, eight-point similarity with Thatcher's. Ed, 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 a dozen likelies don't add up to one fact beyond a reasonable doubt. To convince 12 jurors, we've got to have evidence that's airtight. Especially when we're dealing with someone like Thatcher. Charge him with a lesser offense? First degree or nothing. It's too damn thin. Serge? I have something in mind. My car went dead. I had to borrow this from the municipality secretary. 
Oh, yeah. It's not really your style there. Are you calling? Let's go for a ride. Oh, uh, I'd sort of prefer to stay around here for a couple minutes. Yeah, well, you have to be awful cautious. You never know. Well, everything is... Let's walk over this way. Land's getting pretty dry, eh? Yeah. It is. It's really down to this end, yeah. The way Evan Fowler used to dump his manure. Oh, yeah. You been hassled? Yeah, well, the cops come... Uh, the once and just asked me about the chef, the car. Uh -huh. And, uh... That was about it. Other than that, nothing at all. Uh, how about you? Oh, just the once the day after. But, uh, no question, there's been some attempts to put us together, and we should not be seen together. Okay. Well, uh, I got rid of the stuff out of the car. Good. And, uh, well, I, uh, you kind of scared me there for a while because I didn't know uh, what the hell, I didn't know what the hell you'd done with that gun, eh? I don't even talk like that. Look, Colin, it's just, uh, well, I searched the car, eh, and when I couldn't find it, I... Walk back this way. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry about that. I just, uh... Yeah, well, you know, I have always had a, a real fear of those parabolic mics that they have. Yeah. You kind of scared me there for a while because I didn't know uh, what the hell... I didn't know what the hell you'd done with that gun, eh? I don't even talk like that. I mean, don't even... Walk back this way. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry about that. I just, uh... Yeah, well, you know, I have always had a, a real fear of those... It all fits. Those mics that they have. All of it. You know, but, uh... You know, there, there are no loose ends at all. Make the arrest. <laughs> Behind me in the Saskatoon courtroom, the first-degree murder trial of Colin Thatcher is about to begin. Despite his appeals, Thatcher has been repeatedly denied bail since his arrest 23 weeks ago. Okay for you, Judy? Good for me. All right, we got it. Order, all rise. Court is now in session. Are counsel ready to proceed? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Arraign the accused. Thank you, my lord. Mr. Thatcher, will you stand, please? W. Colin Thatcher, you stand charged as follows. W. Colin Thatcher of the city of Moose Jaw in the province of Saskatchewan stands charged that he, the said W. Colin Thatcher, on or about the 21st day of January, 1983, at Regina in the province of Saskatchewan, did unlawfully cause the death of Joanne K. Wilson and did thereby commit first-degree murder, contrary to Section 218 of the Criminal Code. Do you understand the charge as it has been read to you? I do. How say you? Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. You may be seated. As a quick summary.